But on the day of exam, because of nervousness and anxiety, I messed up the exam. So how I overcame is how do you stay consistent uh, during those toughest times? And do you need tips for aspirants who want to stay consistent? From quitting his low-paying job from Infosys, Ajay cracks gate and AC and got 35 lakhs per annum placement offer from Qualcomm. How does he able to crack all of these exams? I wanted to know the answer for it, so I gave him a call. And what he tells me was a next level gate exam advice. So the first question is like, so Ajay, what is the change you made in your life that makes you get this? for so when i was uh, working in infosys life was pretty smooth no i did not see much career growth in soft my coding skills are not that great so i could not uh, see myself doing a software job in the long run so i thought i need to take some risk so i when i told my parents that i'm leaving my job they were also not happy it was one good decision i i took and uh, now i am in a good position only so ajay you have prepared gate for 3 years what do you think is the biggest mistake that you have done in the first and second year that you have changed in your third year so i would not call it mistakes i would rather call it as lessons uh, to be frank because uh, when i was preparing in 2019 my preparation was uh, really good i prepared thoroughly um, i prepared all the subjects i have given around 5 to 6 mock tests also. so but on the day of exam because of nervousness and anxiety i messed up the exam so the, um, there are no specific reasons for that failure but just because of that nervousness i completely lost that exam so for the next attempt in 2020 i made sure that i have to overcome that so how i overcame is by writing uh, many mock tests i have written around 10 to 15 mock tests this time and one more change that i have implemented this time is i have attended center based you know as academy and made easy they will conduct center based exams before the actual um, gate exam it is like in the field of competitive exam we need to, if you want to crack it we need to be consistent and hard working how do you stay consistent uh, during those toughest times so um, one thing that kept me consistent throughout this journey is uh, fear of failure you know if i am not studying today and if i'm delaying the things today i will not be able to get a decent rank that i'm aiming for and i have to spend one more year which is terrible so it is very common among uh, gate aspirants who are preparing uh, these distractions uh, especially mobile phone distractions and distractions from family and friends so how did you overcome these kind of distractions so when i joined coaching in uh, 2018 july i have uninst- uh, instagram i have deactivated facebook and I have changed my sim card and uh, i have started using that new sim card for whatsapp so no one knows that number except my parents and a few of my close friends so lot of distraction gone here itself but still i used to spend around 2 uh, to 3 hours uh, watching videos on youtube because uh, i am not that kind of person who can study 12 to 14 hours per day hardly i can study up to 6 to 7 hours per day but whatever time i study i study with more focus and uh, dedication so ajay what was your last 20 day strategy so i would reserve last 5 days for uh, revision of short notes so in the remaining 15 days what i will do I will write mock test every alternate day. If I am writing mock test today, I will write one more mock test day after tomorrow. So like that, I will write I will write seven mock tests. In those eight gap days, I will pick up each subject every day. Eight uh, gap days, eight subjects, I will study thoroughly. Uh, so when you discussed about uh, analyzing the test time, so uh, how do you analyze your test paper? after your exam i will see uh, what was my thought process in the exam first i will analyze about that what was i thinking in the exam and i will open the solution also i will see what the solution was given and then i will compare my thoughts with the actual solution then i will uh, whenever i get these kind of questions next time i have to think like i should not think like the way how i uh, thought in the exam i should improve these things so here comes the final day we done all the preparation and uh, our job is to implement whatever we learned and to get the maximum out of marks in exam So how do you make sure that we can get the maximum marks with you know maximum accuracy and to finish everything on time One thing I personally uh, found when I was attempting multiple tests is um, like whenever you do not get any answer just skip that question even if you are able to solve 20 to 25 questions also come back again So when you are coming for the second run you will be able to get at least one or two hints because our subconscious mind will be uh, trained in such a way If you see the same question twice or thrice you will automatically be able to write something on paper most probably i'll be able to solve it even if i'm not able to solve if i am seeing it for the third time most of the times i will get done now talking about accuracy there is a saying you know sweat more in uh, training and bleed less in battle so as the saying goes you have to practice a lot of problems before the exam itself please you should give 10 to 15 mock tests and at least 10 to 15 subject wise tests obviously you will get good accuracy in the actual exam if you are doing your engineering and preparing for gate ese bar kisro and still unsure about what platform to choose i would suggest go with gate bala because the quality and content they are providing for you to get success is really phenomenal so batch details 
Gates, Parakram for Gate 2024 batch, which is a full one year batch for third year students at 4999 instead of 599. Shrestha batch for Gate 2025 batch, which is a full two year batch for second year students at 6999 instead of 799. Use my code Ragu500 so that you will get instant 500 discount on all of their courses.